All right, sports fans, this is a Google Slides training. Don't be deceived by the logo here. And so we're gonna start off from the beginning uh, creating a Google Slide. So I'm starting in the folder that I want my Google Slide to show up. And I just can simply come over here to New and then go to Slides. And from there, if I slide over, I can either um, make a blank uh, presentation or from a template like you may have seen earlier in my Google Docs video. Um, another way to access and create a slide, by the way, um, is if I go to here, uh, my waffle, and then I'm going to go down to slides. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to go ahead um, and create a slide from, from this. In this, I can see slides that I already have um, in, in my drive. Um, even though you can see this is the slides home, I'm in my drive, I can also see my template gallery here that I talked about earlier, MCOE templates, and then general templates. Um, and so you can see um, some different options for all different um, uh, people doing different jobs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, blank template and I'm going to call this uh, my first sliding into slides or my first Google slide. My first Google slide. And so this is the title right here. Um, I, wanna, I, wa I do want to show you um, a few um, things. Um, first of all, if I want to see where it's located, I can click in this folder. Um, now one of the things I would like to immediately move this into my Google training folder. So I'm going to click on it here and then I'm going to move it here. Um, it's good to stay organized right from the beginning. And so if I go back uh, and go to my Google training folder, right here you're going to see my go first Google slide in the same location. So it's in my drive and I can access it through my drive but I can also access it through Slides Home. So I'm gonna um, double click here, my first Google slide. Um, one of my first options uh, when I usually open a Google slide um, for the first time is going to be um, over here. It usually has themes that pop up. And so my themes just kind of help me look at slide designs. And so it doesn't, I can pick any, any, any theme and it's just gonna kind of match. Um, today I'm feeling very, um, Tropic, and so I think I'm going to go ahead and or Marina and and choose this one and go ahead and close this. Um, so uh, like uh, Google Docs or like um, you know PowerPoint, I can see my menu bars over here. I did point this out in um, in my last video, but I do want to show you how sometimes the menu brain, brain uh, bar changes uh, depending upon a few things. So check it up here, the menu bar. Now I'm actually going to click to add text. And if you notice when I'm adding text, the menu bar has changed. So click on the background. It's one thing. Click on text. It's another thing. So you got to kind of pay attention to that. Um, the other thing, as I pointed out in docs too, is, is the menu bar, uh, actually has some more options over here that are hidden and these options may change depending upon how wide or, or narrow your screen is for example if I grab over here and I shrink my screen you can see that my uh, things are disappearing off of my menu bar um, and so uh, keep that in mind um, so your men menu bar changes depending on a few different things and so I can add my title here title here um, I can if, to add other slides. I can go ahead and um, click. I can add uh, a new slide right here, and that just kind of gives me uh, the first slide in the lineup. Or I can click the drop-down arrow, and I can see all the different slides um, that I may want to add. Uh, click here, and then uh, again, I can add my subtitle here. Um, if I wanted to add a picture to slides, uh, it's very simple. There's a few places I can do it. One place I can do it is simply by clicking up here. I can click image and I have all these different options to add them in. Uh, one of the greatest options is just searching for the uh, uh, web. And so let's see what subtitle pops up. I'm not sure what subtitle is gonna pop up. Nothing interesting. How about uh, Google Slides? Let's go ahead and see what uh, image search for there. Hey, there's a Google slide uh, photo. I can click on that and I can click here. Um, and then it's gonna go ahead and add the image of the Google slide. And then um, again, notice when I'm selecting an image, my format options kind of change up here as well. Um, so again, your menu bar up here is gonna change depending upon um, what you are, are, are doing uh, in your slide. Um, like Google Docs, again, I have my share button. 
So right now I can see it's only to me, so I can go ahead and I can directly share it with people um, right here and send them to an, an email. Um, or I can also, as you know, in that same, I can share it uh, by the link as well. Uh, a few other options I just want to um, point out is comments. So if I want to make a comment for somebody, I go ahead and highlight uh, something. Um, and then there's a comment is right here. And so I can add a comment to the slide. Um, there are presenters notes if I want to add um, and Google Slides. Um, by the way, if I want to clear up space and, and, and make the slide pop up, if I resolve the comment, look what happens. Here are my speaker notes down here. Here they are. These are, these are uh, specific notes, of, of course, for um, speakers. And so uh, the best way to learn about Google Slides is just kind of by navigating them. There is a lot of options. Um, and these are just some of the basics. Hopefully they will get you started and feeling a little bit more comfortable um, navigating slides. I would really encourage you to start, just try to click on things and just remember when you hover over things, um, you can see actually what it is. Like that's the font, that's the font size. Um, this is text. So you can actually see what it is. Um, just one other thing, of course, that I like to point out is if the help button, if I click this help button, I can click down on slides help and I can, uh, I can pretty much look for anything like a slide background. If I want to know how to change the background of the slide, um, I click on that, change the theme background or layout in Google slides. And it gives me this information on that. Um, remember you can rewatch this video as you need to. There's definitely lots of information, but hopefully it helps give you a overview of Google slides. Thanks for watching and have a great day.